Hello everybody, I'm Colton back with episode 4 of our Nuzlocke we've been doing. Um, so I go up here and I get a tract. Uh, the main point of this one is to get an Oddish because we seriously need it for the gym and if we don't we're probably screwed. So um, I went ahead and did the Repel strat where you put the Pokemon with the level that you want up at the front so then any above that can spawn. And Oddish is the only one that's 13 or 14 and can spawn so we got him on the first encounter right here and so we got to make sure we catch which this strategy is kind of the the main way you can actually get good encounters but this is the only point where i actually felt like i really really needed it because i did not want to risk ending up with like an abra whenever i seriously need something to attack that stormy So we caught Oddish, and I go ahead, and we're naming her Oddball, because why not? What a great name. But she's about to be the most clutch Mon we have for that battle. So now it's just going to be a lot of, it's just some grinding and some trainer battles I'm cutting between here. And this part I'm trying to kind of breeze through them, because... I don't really see the point in showing every single little one. They're all Zubats and Ekans and Rattatatas at the moment. Or some random rock Pokemon that we'll wipe through in two seconds. So here he got hurt by poison. But we're just going to go ahead and hit him with a magnitude. And just rock him. Um, we go to... I believe it's Route nine and so we can get another encounter in like this tiny little patch of grass it has or no route 23 and we there's like this little patch of grass right here we can get an encounter in but also this is a good place to train oddish because there's some hikers that have rock pokemon or they have machops you know like this one where he has a machop for some reason how great So I'm kind of cutting between the battles. I fought all those trainers as well. I'm just cutting between them. Those out of Ekans. Which Oddball is not strong against. As you can see, we already got him up to level 17. Which. We got to get her up because she's got to be strong enough. Only thing that's a, like slightly bit worrying is that Starmy knows confusion and Oddish is part poison. But I think the Giga Drain, or not Giga Drain, Absorb should do well enough. Later we're going to get it Giga Drain though for sure. Because you get that TM after the fourth gym, which will make it a lot more useful. But in this gym, it's the most useful thing I have and really the only thing I can throw out there against anything. So we go ahead and melt this dude. Majora's just sitting here getting hurt by poison. Which is really great. So we throw Oddball out. Give him some more XP against this sand true right here. But yeah, like, as we're trying to get him to a higher level, um, I can pretty much just talk about, like, how my well my plan is through most of these videos is kind of get to like a certain stopping point so we'll see kind of what i include here but also uh in a sooner or later video i'm thinking about including a friend so that's fun gonna have somebody to talk back with me for once <laughs> and me not just sit here babbling on about what exactly I'm doing in the game, but, um, also, sometimes I might just, like, talk about random stuff, because why not, um, 
But yeah, so we're kind of just marching through here, which is pretty, pretty easy. We only have like one trainer battle left for this like little tiny part, I'm pretty sure. Which Majora is poison, so that's not fun. So I go ahead and I head back, go to the Pokemon Center. I'm like rushing back, trying to sprint and make it there. Which I was like terrified of. So I kept checking his health to make sure he wouldn't die. So now we've made it back. Pokemon Center, gonna go ahead and heal. Fight that last person that's up there. And then just keep going until we can get Oddish up as high as we can to the level cap. So our team is looking pretty good level-wise. We're keeping everybody pretty even. Ronda's kind of low, but that's okay. And obviously we're getting Oddball up right now. Which she is really good for this gym, so. So I went ahead and I made it to Bill's house. Where you find this little, you know, you find a little cleft here. And turns out it's him. Which, that is kind of odd to think about. Why is he mixing himself with a Pokemon? But okay. So we go help him fix his mistake here. Did not plan that out at all. So now he's like, oh yeah, normal person now. You can go and talk to him. And he gives you a very important item, that SS ticket, which is exactly what we need for after this gym. Which, honestly, the SSN kind of worries me. I never like the fact that you're just sitting there battle after battle. You have to make sure that you actually have, like, potions and antidotes and things, or you're screwed. So I go ahead and I get the encounter that's all the way back there on like Route 23 that I didn't get. And I caught Abra. So that's pretty cool. Even though I don't plan on using Abra long because I just think that it's too weak of a glass cannon. Like his defense isn't good enough, obviously. But I know that's the point. But in these games, it's so flimsy. It's just It just seems like if we were in a big battle and even one thing outsped it we'd be screwed if that was like our plan of attack so then i went ahead and headed back to the pokemon center and i'm going into the gym to go take on a couple gym trainers so we can get some xp for oddball and see what it's like so this first guy has a horsey and just wipe through it easy absorb Using Leer for no reason. Very easy absorb here. Also, that's one thing. As I'm playing through this game, like, you start to realize just how big, which I know this is common sense, but how big the gen differences are. Like, my favorite gen will always be gen 4, and I've played every generation at least once or twice. And gen 4 a whole lot more, and 5 a lot more, but I played all of them a good bit. But you can just start to see, like, just... The drastic changes. Which sometimes the biggest thing with this game. Is that it can feel really sluggish sometimes. When you're fighting like how slow the animations are. And things like that. But most of the time it's alright. It's just sometimes it can get kind of bogged down. Whenever you're sitting there fighting like. Grunt after grunt. Or you know you're going through a. Massive dark tunnel. Forever. It can feel really long when all the animations take 25 minutes to do. But overall, it's a it's been pretty fun so far. Like, I've had a lot of fun with it. Especially because I haven't really played this generation of game in so long. And I've never played Fire Red or Leaf Green before. I played the original uh, Blue, but that was also whenever I was really little. I had a Game Boy Advance for some reason. I remember one of my brother's friends had the 
blue cartridge, and so I ended up playing it on there. Because I always have enjoyed Pokemon. My first game was Pokemon Diamond, and I have the exact same cartridge still, which is crazy. Like, I still have the same one. But my favorite game is Platinum by far, so... I, you can bet your money that eventually we'll do that one. But anyways, we just beat that first gym trainer. And now we got the second one, which we'll probably just wipe through. Misty's just going to stare at us as we're fa facing this person. But yeah... Uh, I, I don't know, Gym 4 was just a lot of fun. I mean, also, I have, you know, I have bias, because that's obviously, that's the first generation I played, so I'm going to have some bias toward it. Because, like, the biggest issue with Diamond and Pearl, which, to be honest, I didn't feel these problems until I saw them mentioned, and I was like, oh, well, you're right. Is that, the, you know, the animations and the health bar and things like that are insanely slow. But one thing I did always think as a kid is that the pacing in Diamond and Pearl specifically is pretty bad. Especially the, oh, well, you're going to go to Heart Home City. Turns out the gym leader isn't there. Guess you got to go to another town. Like, the gap of hours in between certain parts of the game is insane. And, like, in Platinum, they kind of made it to where the spacing was a lot better. And by it, That was a specific thing they fixed really well, but also the story beats are a little better. But in Diamond and Pearl, you can just see all those problems, and oh my gosh, it'll just take forever. So here's our team set up currently, and Oddball, I went ahead and trained him from level 19 to level 20, and Oddball is going to head to Evolve pretty quickly into Gloom, who's about to be the MVP of this fight. Literal MVP. We're gonna clutch up, carry us through this fight. Hopefully. And so now, I go ahead and make sure my team is situated correctly. Level 21. And I go ahead and go up to Misty, and we're gonna go ahead and take her on. Second gym badge battle. Here we go. So first, she's going to send out her star you, which Oddball is here to deal with both of them, but should deal with star you pretty, pretty easily. We have a higher level advantage over it and, you know, absorbs too good. If it does do any damage, we'll just regenerate from it. And the Harden, I would think that Harden is just not really doing anything, so I don't really understand why he uses it. Does Water Pulse here. Luckily does not confuse me, which is what I was very worried about is getting confused from water poles because that can be very annoying So now we took star you out now we just have one more mod left to take out We just got to hope no crits or anything that can ruin our chances here So I'm sitting here trying to decide between like sleep powder or absorb So I, I ended up deciding on Absorb here. Stormy's so using Swift because it doesn't have... I mean, I I feel like it has confusion, so I don't know why it's not using a super effective move against me. But I guess the AI sometimes just has to be dumb to help you out, I guess. So I go ahead and I Sleep Powder it since I can tell, well, I'm not going to be killing it in two hits. So I Sleep Powder it, and we go ahead and just start whacking away at it with Absorb, which... I think was the smart play because now I can't sit here and spam swift because I know I'm gonna have to deal with her regenerating most likely once I hit it one more time so the sleep powder was kind of just a plan ahead because you don't want her to be able to get a swift like with swift get a health advantage on me too fast because that could spell disaster because she doesn't have a four store she just has a super potion so that means her status effect is still there Go ahead, hit it with Absorb again. And I regenerated completely, and now she doesn't have any way to. It's still asleep. Clutch. Mega clutch. And I hit it with Absorb. Take it down a little more. It's just two more hits to go. Two more Absorb hits to go right here. 
So the Starmie finally woke up. You Swift again. Just can't do all that much. Just can't. So now all we need is one more hit. One more. Hit me with Swift again. And down goes her ace Pokemon Starmie. And now... We've officially completed this battle and got through like two of the most annoying gyms right here at the beginning for us with Charmander. And now we have the Cascade Badge. Which means we can use Cut Outside of Battle, which is nice. She also gives us Water Pulse, which could be useful for a Water Pokemon later if we get one. Which I'm assuming I will because Water Pokemon can just, they're so useful. In pretty much ever, a lot, many circumstances. So I went and healed at the Pokemon Center. And then now, I'm going to go ahead. Like, this is our current team. Magi is just kind of there, and so is Rhonda. But the other four are all key members at the moment. And we're going to go ahead and uh, head to Vermilion. So first we have to go up here and get this dude's TM back. But he literally ends up not even wanting it back. Those Team Rocket Grunts just standing back here. Because the police are the most incompetent things in this universe. And he's going to send out a drowsy. Which, hey, is a little different for a rocket grunt here. I'm not going to lie. A little different. Instead of a snake or a rat, you know, we get a this thing. I'm just wanting Agra to wake up. It's so annoying. Getting put to sleep. Then it's got to hit me with confusion and crit me. Finally, Agra wakes up. Hit it with a quick attack. Gets really low. Tries to disable and fails. Thank God. Hit it with another quick attack and take down Drowsy. Which now our level cap is 24. So, we're, we're doing pretty good, honestly. Because the next gym is going to be the Vermilion City gym, which is electric type. And that'll be perfect for geography here. It'll be pretty clutch for that. So go ahead and talk to him. He's like, oh yeah, no, I, I ended up not needing it anyway. So you just get to keep it. So now I run down here and I go ahead and get my encounter on this route. And also just go down here to go to the, see what building is down here. And my encounter ended up being Meowth. So I chuck a ball at it. And we end up getting Meowth. And <laughs> the name I have for it, I think is pretty, pretty good. That's right. I know, I'm not funny, but I did it anyway. Who cares? It's gonna it's not gonna be it's not gonna be useful on the team. It went in the wrong box, and then I go down here to the freaking daycare just to go to the PC and completely ignore the guy that's trying to make me turn in my Pokemon to him. I'm not doing it. But um we'll go ahead and boot up the PC and move my Meowth from the the death box. You don't need to be in there. You know, you don't want to be in there. Um, it's holding a nugget, but I'm just too lazy to take it off. So I go ahead, put him in there. And then I have to walk through the the super long tunnel. This is the current team here. So I put Majora out front. But yeah, I have to go through a massive tunnel. And I sprint through it. 
since apparently the road doesn't work for some reason but you know that's all right so then you skip an entire city and you get to the next one um and then i went through this route of trainers there's a bug catcher up there you saw there's another bug catcher with a butterfree and then i ended up having my pokemon poison so i skipped one trainer went around them to, and then i had to fight one of them so i ended up fighting this one but i i eventually am going to come back up to fight the other one because I'm not missing out on any experience. Because believe me. That is not me. But I just did not want to risk anybody dying from poison damage. Because that would be the lamest way to die. So I go ahead. Hit him with Ember. And then. I gotta hit him with another one. And then I hit him again. And then finally we get to head down to Vermilion. So now we have two gym badges and we're in Vermilion City, which is where the third one is. And we also get to take on the SSN. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center. And I want to thank y'all for watching. Please like and subscribe and uh, tell me any improvements I can make. Thank you.